Hey, welcome to Flybubble Weather. Thanks to all the support from many pilots over the years, we've been able to grow a little and we've been able to afford to put a whole lot of energy into making a flying weather application. And the whole idea is it's just to help you to fly more. We wanted to get the weather information simplified so that you can just at a glance see what's going on with the weather and know whether you you need to take the day off from work or whether it's worth driving somewhere to go and fly. And most of the pilots have told us that the number one thing they want is to get more airtime. This is the solution. Let's check it out. Right, so this will this will work on your mobile phone if you put into your browser, find your little web browser and put into the top of the browser flybubble.com forward slash weather it also works on PC let's jump into the PC and have a look you've got an overview map and you've got some colors on the map and this is wind speed you'll see on the left here the little toggle is showing wind speed at the moment the wind speed scale is on the right hand side you can choose whether you like kilometers knots or miles per hour and the scale runs down the left there. So you can see most of this map at the moment is showing very light wind, seven kilometers an hour or less. You've got two little toggles up the top here, hang gliding or paragliding. If you're paragliding, make sure it's the light blue is paragliding, that's selected. Um, if you're a hang glider pilot, you can click over to hang gliders, set it and forget it. For the rest of the time that you use the site, it'll always show you hang gliding conditions, which gives you more wind and uh, a more wind necessary to make it flyable at a site. So let's go back to paragliding and you've got a search box there. You can put in a, a site search if you're trying to find a particular site. You've got your day drop down so we can choose Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm going to stick it on Wednesday being that it's Wednesday and then time of day. Well choose a time. I usually do this sort of search at about 12 o'clock which is just before peak time and it gives me a good idea of if it's a good thermic day and if the wind in the middle of the day is looking good. That's just for the overview. So looking at 12 o'clock I've got a little bit more wind pushing in from the coast and hey what's this over here? We've got a little green spot. Now the green spots are flyable spots, the red spots are not flyable. So there we go Mon Cabern. So straight away I can see that at 12 o'clock there's some flying activity going on there. The other way of looking for a flying area is to use the star's thermals. And that will give you a good idea of where the best thermic flying is for the day. This is using the RASP foot launch star rating. Uh, it gives you a, a 0 to 5 scale. Red is really good. Cracking flying grommet. And the scale goes down from there. So from that I can see that the best area today is around London. Thanks. So if you want to go and fly in the center of London you're probably going to battle with the airspace of Heathrow. Um, but that that's a way of looking for an area if you if you've got um, the freedom to move for the day you look for the stars best star rating and then you drive to that area to do your cross-country flying. So that's really thermal flying and if you're looking for soaring you just look at the wind speed and you can combine the two. So going back to our wind and our little flyable site down here Mount Cabern, clicking into that you've now got details of the site. Top left you've got a topo map it shows the launch area and you've got a little green wind rose that shows you the bright green ideal the dark green still flyable might be getting to the limit and close so i can see it's perfectly in the flyable direction and if i look down the bottom i've got the wind speed again and the star rating again popping up at the bottom so that gives me a very quick overview of what the flying conditions are like and then on the top right this is the most important part of the site, I would say. You've got 
your time boxes along the right there. So on Wednesday, I can see that it's flyable from 11 o'clock right through to 6 o'clock in the evening. Um, it's getting a little strong around 3 to 4 o'clock. It's gone darker green color there. And tomorrow's not flyable, so if I've got two days, I need to go today. Um, the star rating is pretty poor in that it, it's not showing very good thermal. So from my site knowledge, I know that means the sea air is coming in at Mount Cabin and you're going to get soaring. It's good fun, but you're not going to go cross country. So you can click around into the different days. And as you go to different days and different times, it'll show you the wind speed and the, th the thermal rating for that day. Obviously, the further out you go, the more unreliable the forecast gets. But for today, it should be pretty good. There's an important note down the bottom. Obviously, you need to assess whether it's flyable yourself when you get to the site. It's not our responsibility. We're just giving you a heads up on forecast weather that matches the parameters at work at the site. Um, the other very important thing is we have a database of sites here. Some of them might be out of date. You really must check before you go and fly that you've got permission to fly there. Some of them are members only sites, which means you need to join the club. And there might be other restrictions and temporary closures. We cannot put all of that site data into this website. It just, the task is mammoth. So we've linked through to NOTAM Info. If you click on NOTAM Info, you really should do this every time you're going to go fly any rate. But that'll bring up a map. And you can show PG Hill sites. That'll bring up all the paragliding sites. So let's say we were looking at Cayburn. I can see that there's no NOTAMs in that area. And no NOTAMs downwind if I was going to go cross country. Cool. And then if you click on that little tab, it'll say members only Southern Hang Gliding Club. There's a link to the site, site guide, link to the site guide. So that's where you're going to get your more info about the sites. You should check that every time you're going to go to a site that you don't know. Check out the club, check out the site guide, get the latest up to date information. Super. So you know what to do. And if you've got a problem, it's an email address for me down at the bottom. Email me, let me know. Um, we would love your help if you find that there are some sites in your area where the wind rose is slightly off or the, it's showing it flyable and it's not because it's always blown out. Let me know. We can tweak it. The lovely thing about this system is I can change the parameters on the site as we learn and I can change the wind ranges. So we can update this over time and get it to be really accurate. And we're matching it to the RASP forecast model. We found that to be the really the most accurate flying forecast you can get in the UK. Up on the, the top left again, just have a look at some of the information here. You've got the um, launch wind. So that's the wind at 10 meters above the surface. That gives you the strength and direction, but also a loft. And that is the average wind in the boundary layer, so between ground and cloud base, top of climbs. So if there's a big mismatch there, you know that there's likely to be some kind of turbulence because you've got strong wind at the bottom, light wind at the top, or vice versa, or completely different directions. So have a look at that. Climbs shows you how high you can climb on your paraglider. This takes account of your sink rate. So it's kind of the top where you're going to top out on the day. And base is the cumulus cloud base. So you sometimes your climbs just don't get to base and you can see the difference there and see how much potential you've got to go somewhere. Weather will flag up if it's raining and the rain will cause it to be unflyable. So that will come up on the, on the boxes on the right as well. Fantastic. Well, I hope you find this a really useful tool. We think it's awesome. Thanks a lot to Kedman Mullen for doing the development. And we hope that it gets you into the air a lot more this summer. Let us know what you think. Share it with your friends. And if you like this, support us on our shop. It really enables us 
to do more developments like this and give you something back. Cheers. <laughs>